Well, welcome to day seven of hiking into retirement. Today has been seven days since I've been on the road since my retirement. So I wanted to create a channel that I don't care how much money you have or how old you are, just to show you that you can do it and not spend a bunch of money. This isn't a channel if to show you the best bars or the best restaurants. It's to show you how to get out here and experience God's country and not costing a thing. So if you know somebody who ha doesn't have very much money and going, oh, I couldn't afford to do that, send them to this channel. If you have an older friend or you're older like me and you're like, I can't do that anymore, send them here. I'll show them that at 62, you can still do it. So every Wednesday, I'll give you an update on what I've spent so far. So, um, so far on fuel, which was the big, biggest expense, sorry, um, I spent $206.94. Now, you know I drive Sandy, so Sandy gets pretty good gas mileage and uh, trucks right along. So I've already gone um, about 1,450 miles. So the biggest expense was just getting here. So the gas should start to de decrease in the next week. But every, every Wednesday, I'll let you know uh, how much I've spent so far, a running tally. And for food so far, I've spent $67.41 in seven days. That's about $9.63 a day. Now, I cheated just a little bit because um, at my retirement party, there was chicken salad and hamburger meat. So I brought both of those. So next week, I probably could start spending a little bit more. But so far... Um, the tally for one week of being out here in the woods has cost me $274.35. So not a big expense, really. I'd probably spend more if I was sitting at home. So um, you can do it on a budget. I'm staying in the van. Hasn't cost me anything in seven days to camp. Showers haven't cost me anything. Again, I haven't gone to any restaurants or uh, done any touristy type things, just experiencing God's beauty. So if you're thinking that you'd want to do something like this, reach out to me with some questions. I'll give you the answers. I'm not a professional or anything, but I just wanted to get out and go, I don't make a bunch of money, so, but I definitely want to see stuff like this. So I'll check back in with you on next Wednesday morning when I put 14 days total and we'll see what the tally is. Okay. So again, if you know somebody who's my age or you're my age, check it out. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching. Love all. Okay. So now that you know what I spent the first week, now I have to get supplied up for the second week. So I'm here at Walmart in Montrose. So I'm gonna get supplied up here and hopefully it'll last me till the next week. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I'm right at about $55 for this next week. Now, if I run out of something, I can always uh, replenish, but this is what I have right now. So I'll show you what I'm going into, $55 for the next week here at Walmart. So this is what I got. Okay. Most of my food is kind of like, um, I'd say camping food, but this is what I have for the next week at $55 to keep me um, filled up. I got hummus, some tortilla, some string cheese, some turkey, I needed the mustard. I got uh, raisins, hard boiled eggs, chocolate and white milk, water. I got some apples. Oh, I got some peanut butter and jelly. I have some crackers left over from last time. And I still um, have a few salamis, but I went ahead and got another salami. And I also got some Coke. So I know there's some of you that are sitting there going, but Tony, you don't drink Coke. You drink Dr. Pepper. You're absolutely right. But a friend of mine, Tasman, 
for my retirement party, he got me, oh yes, some rum. So the other night, I was, um, oh, a little thirsty. So bear with me. The other night, after hiking for a bit, I got thirsty and boy, I was kind of craving a beer, you know? Right there on the river and out in the sun and just chilling, was wanting a beer. Then I remember Tasman sliding the rum in my, uh, in my van and I was like, oh yeah, rum. Now I've always been a firm believer in rum in anything. I've always said that, rum in anything. I looked and looked and looked and all I had was water and milk. Those were my choices. I can't drink straight rum. Well, needless to say, I went with the milk. So, rum and milk. I don't uh, recommend that. I don't think they'll be serving that at any bar anytime soon. Did I drink it? Yeah. But rum and milk is not my favorite. So, I went ahead and got the Coke this time. So, smart choice. Thanks, Taz. So, the last few days, I got to thinking about some stuff. Um, traveling through all these little small towns and stuff, I've been kind of running into people doing kind of the same thing that I'm doing, but actually doing it full time. I, you know, I hear the term van lifers and stuff like that, but these are people that are in vans, in cars, in all kinds of vehicles, and they're just traveling around living the dream. Um, pretty cool people, interesting people. I've really got to know, know a few of them and they were just all nice as soon as they knew I was doing the same thing. It's kind of cool. I mean, they're just living out of their vehicle, just enjoying what God gives them for free, beautiful country, living the dream, living free, freedom. They're not being tied down by anything. And got me to thinking, Maybe I should start interviewing some of those people. You know, I've had my YouTube channel for a whopping week now, so I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm just an old guy with a selfie and a, an old iPhones. So no big production here whatsoever. So maybe one day I'll get a GoPro or something like that. But I've been going through these selfies, like self sticks or whatever you call them, like crazy. They keep breaking. But anyway, what do you guys think? I think that'd be kind of cool to interview some of these people and figure out how they got into it and where they go. As you can see, with the budget that I have and they have, you can pretty much go wherever you want to and see some incredible stuff if you know how to do it right. I think it's kind of funny because when you go into like a tourist town, they all ask, we all ask the same thing. We go to the visitor center or like a retail shop and we'll ask three things. Where's the dispersed camping? Where's a good place to take a hot shower? And number three, the biggest thing, where's free Wi-Fi? So when you walk into a retailer and ask those questions, they don't try to sell you anything. They know you're on a budget. So it's pretty cool. And then you get out and to the dispersed camping somewhere and you meet up with them and they're all doing the same thing. Living off hardly anything, but just enjoying life. So let me know what you think. Give me a comment and tell me if you'd like me to start interviewing some of these people and checking out some of their rigs. Like I said, their vans, their trucks, they're not RVs, they're just vehicles. You know, even Range Rovers, Julian, you know, so it could be anything, but the way they have them set up, it's pretty cool. So, like I said, that was the first seven days. That was the total. We'll catch you next week, let you know what that total is going to be. So, remember, don't ever say you can't do it because you don't have enough money, okay? So, see ya.